All right, I thought I'd make one more video here about the ESP32, um, just to kind of show uh, how to put one of these guys onto a custom board. Um, I love these chips. Um, they got lots of power. They got all the connectivity. I mean, having Wi-Fi built in is super sweet. They're cheap as chips. They're as cheap as any other microcontroller. Um, they're compatible with Arduino. I mean, what's not to love? Uh, well, what's not to love is they can be a little bit picky, and uh, these W rooms that I use can be really tough to solder. Uh, in another video, I'll show you how I solder. But to get started, uh, one other downside is that they can actually pull quite a bit of power. I think they pull like three or four hundred milliamps uh, when Wi-Fi is enabled, so that's quite a bit. Um, that uh, coupled with the fact that this VCC could be anywhere between 12 and let's say 35 uh, volts. Uh, we're dropping quite a bit of voltage for a linear regulator on here. Um, if I were to do this particular project again, I might get rid of the bu uh, the buck converter, but in this case, I just kept it there. Just you know, the point of this project is not to be perfect; it's to have some fun and learn something in the process. So, um, but anyways, I use the LM25. 7.6 as a buck converter uh, for my AMS1117, um, the 22 mic and the 22 mic. Um, look at the data sheet. You can use other, I think the data sheets is a 10 microfarad and a 22. So read the data sheet for yourself or just copy what I got here. I got a little LED here just showing the 5 volt rail is active. Uh, that can be really helpful for troubleshooting stuff. Um, so yeah, that's basically the power. Um, seriously, just read and follow the data sheet. Not hard. Um, this is probably, uh, yeah, this is probably the easiest part. Um, after that, um, what I have is I have a 22 microfarad and a 0.1 microfarad cap on the 3.3 volt rail as decoupling cap capacitors. Um, the data sheet I think says 10 mic and 0.1 mic, so. It is what it is. I up this a little bit based on a different design, um, but uh, going on from there. So that's the 3.3 volt. Uh, the next thing that's absolutely necessary is a 10k and a 0.1 microfarad RC filter on the EN pin. Um, that is important for the timing of how this thing fires when power is applied. Um, and then across switch one, we have well, switch one is just for IO zero. So IO0 needs a switch and then EN needs a switch. We have a 0.1 microfarad cap on the EN pin. There was a 0.1 microfarad cap across this IO0. That causes it not to boot correctly. Uh, whenever I'd apply power, I'd have to push the EN button again uh, in order to get this thing to fire. So anyways, uh, that's it. Seriously, that's it. Uh, power supply, RC filter, bypass caps, two switches. Not hard, um, not hard at all. So that brings us to um, how do we download to it. So what I have is I have a um, CP2102 I think it is, just one of those little breakout boards uh, that I use and what I do is is I hook up um, the ground to a common ground which I actually have these on the board that I'm working with right now. Um, I have TX, RX, and ground, and those are laid out just the same every time, so I just have a header um, here. Um, and that's all that I put into it. I don't put in, I'm not gonna inject in 3.3 volts here. What I do rather is I set up all my power here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fuss around with trying to get the power supply from the little module to work because it just doesn't put out enough power to get this thing to, to upload. Um, so you just just leave that alone. Um, set up your 3.3 volts from your actual AMS1117. Only hook up these guys because if you hook up something else you could hook up 5 volts which is just straight USB power and it's dirty and gross and it could fry your ESP32. So I just suggest setting all this stuff up first then trying to download to it. Or upload to it, whatever you call it. Um, 
So now when we boot this thing, I'm going to push this IO0 button. I'm going to hold that in. And then I'm going to click the EN button and release them both at the same time. I kind of vary how long I do it. I don't know. It doesn't always work. Um, sometimes it'll fail. We're going to we're gonna give it a shot here um, just to kind of show you guys how I do this. Um, so, yeah, that was the circuit. Let's go through... Um, Let's just go through downloading this. Um, so what I have, uh, what you do is you go into, uh, this is how to set up the Arduino IDE. So you go into here and under file, you go to preferences, um, and then you go to this part right here. So you need to download, or you need to copy and paste this into here. I'll leave a link down below for that. Um, then you hit OK, and then you can go into your Boards Manager, um, and then find it here, and then install it. Here's mine right here. I'm on 1.06 uh, by Espressive Systems. Um, so yeah, that's what I got there. Um, yeah, that brings up all of this stuff then. Oh boy, we're frozen. So then that'll bring up all of this stuff here. I usually do um, just the dev module uh, that usually works for me. I just leave all that stuff pretty much just stock. I just want to go through that so that you know if one of yours is different, then let's go ahead and do it. So what we've done is we've gone into preferences, we pasted the thing, we went to tools, we um, installed the board, we got it all set up. We are here. We push upload, and then we wait for the sketch to compile. Alright, here we go. So I'm going to push uh, IO0, hold it, press the end button, and then release at the same time. That one worked first try. Sometimes they don't. Um, now it says hard resetting RTS pin. That means we were successful. Go ahead and hit the EN button, and then our sketch comes up and it works. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, now you can do anything that you would have done with a dev module. So. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time when we test out this power supply. I'm running into some issues. I've already uh, had to hack up my board some, but hey, uh, we're having fun and we're learning. Thanks. I'll see you next time.